Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you how to easily win Dragon Rifts in Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to easily do Rift Runs. They can get pretty hard once you get into the later rounds, but I have found a way that I believe pretty much lets you win Rifts every single time, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So there are going to be some pets you're going to need for this. If you want to, you can just get six pterosaurs. Um, I personally use two Barbarian, or one of Barbarian and one Arcturion in the first round. In the second round, I use two Lamanexes, and in the third round, I use two pterosaurs. But pterosaur is probably the best option if you just want to go ahead and get six. For your relics, if you have the Ancient Astral Relic, relic or the um, Dragon Isle Relic that does ancient or Astral Storm, then you should definitely use that. But if you don't have that, just use any relic that has a multi-spell and you know is going to be active on the first round. If you don't have a relic that does multi, that's a multi spell, then you can always use a wand like the Ancient Skepter. Um, I suggest using an Astral Wand, but you can use any other multi as long as it is active in the first round. Since I already have the Ancient Astral Relic, I am just going to be using the Titan Power Katana. So now we are going to be going into a Rift, and I am going to be showing you what I do. So, I am going to enter, by the way, I have not lost a single Rift run, and it has, I've done over 80, I've done, or this is my 82nd. So, here you, or I have the choice between Ice Down, your team's ice spells do less damage, enemies reflect ice spells back at whoever casts them, or your team's spells have a cooldown of 2. So, first off, you never want to choose this one. If there is one called Phoenix, never choose that one. For me, I am going to go this one, because this one, if I end up having to use an ice spell with... Um, Arcturion in the first round, then it's just gonna reflect back. So I'm going to go with the or this one because it does the least amount of farm to my team. So I am going to go ahead and start off with Astral Storm, which will get all of my opponents low. I think they added that shake thing today. This next round, I'm going to use Icicle Piercer because it should hit the top. Okay, yeah. Uh, I got the calculations wrong. But either way, we can just go ahead and take out this Naughty. I really do not like this shake thing that they did. It's a little weird. So now I'm going to go ahead and use Sever on this because I'm going to... Er, never mind. I was going to say I'm going to use Arcturion's uh, Mythical Epic spell on the saplet, but I didn't have to, or I am going to get to, and that's an RP reel, not a saplet. So yeah, there we go. Now let's go on to the second round. So this one, pretty much every single one of these I would be fine with choosing. I'm going to go with the plant down, because I'm not going to be using any plant spells for the rest of the rift. Speed one doesn't really affect it, but it probably air it definitely isn't as good an option as this and then enemies absorb water spells healing instead of taking damage i'm not going to be using any water spells so this one would also be a fine one to do i'm actually probably going to do this one it gives a little extra gold it doesn't really matter though it's only 10 extra and for this one i'm going to be using two laminexes first round i'm going to use astral storm and i yeah, we're definitely going to go for Liasin right here. We can also go ahead and take out Voltus in the same round. So, there goes Liasin, and we will go ahead and take out Voltus next. So, we are in a pretty good spot right now. And then we just have to take out the Palm Prinkle. We easily won this one. 
and now we will go on to the third and final rift or round so in this one enemy plant spells do more damage these two are the exact same all damage dealt to the team's units increase by 10 so for this one i'm going to do this because there aren't any plants enemies in this one so this is easily the best option and then for my pets, I'm going to go Bone Pterosaur and Normal Pterosaur. And as I said before, if you want to use Pterosaurs in every round, then you should definitely do that because Pterosaur is easily the most powerful one out of every single one of the pets that you can use for this pretty much. It has very reliable uh, physical spells. So to start off this one, I'm going to use Astral Spell. Astral Storm, as always. We should be able to take out this one. We might be able to take out the Squawks. So yeah, we took out the Tiny Gear. We probably won't take out the uh, Tri-Beak here. So yeah, we didn't, but we are still in a really good position to win this one. So I'm going to go ahead and use Starbit here, since I don't have to worry about either of these ones going. That gets Newt slow, and then we will finish it off in two hits. So yeah, we really didn't get close to losing a battle any time. No, the lowest our pets got were down to 342. Hopefully I get a uh, orb here. I doubt I do. So yeah, I can't help you get orbs. But yeah, that is going to go ahead and end up the video. If this helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and bye.